Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Imagine What We Can Do, an evening to benefit pencil. Please welcome to the stage, co-anchor of Fox 5's Good Day New York, and tonight's mistress of ceremonies, Rosanna Scotto. Good evening, New York. So great to see you and not to be interrupted by my TV partner, Greg Kelly. It is so great to be here. How about that opening? Let's hear it one more time for the pencil partner, Gramercy Arts High School, their teacher, Karen Eubanks, their principal, Denise DiCarlo, and their two pencil partners, Norma Kamali and Sears. I am absolutely thrilled to be here tonight and to be part of this wonderful occasion. You know, it brings back so many memories of when I was in school. I must confess, I wasn't the brightest bulb in the socket. My parents would tell you that I gave them a lot of sleepless nights during high school and college, but they always stressed education and the importance of education. And I'm happy I listened. And I tell students now that I meet and who want to go into television to read everything you can. Study the world, economics, the environment, entertainment, sports, fashion, languages, and work hard. And you might wind up a job with, like mine. I get up every morning at 4 a.m. <laughs> and I do all I can to kind of inform the people in our area about how to start their day with Good Day New York on Fox 5, and of course on social media. In fact, wait a second, do you mind if I take a picture of you so I can tweet it out? Okay, I'm not complaining about my job, not at all. And it has nothing to do with my boss being here, Dennis Swanson, who is... <laughs> who is the president of station operations for Fox Television Stations. And see, my education has taught me well. I'm going to stop talking about my boss and talk about pencil. I am here tonight because I really, really like this organization. First, I want to extend a very special thank you to our gala chair, First Data CEO, Frank J. Bisignano, as well as the co-chairs who did so much to make this evening a huge success. Please join me in thanking them. I also want to set, extend a special thank you to this evening's Trailblazer and Benefactor sponsors. Please give them a round of applause as well. I know I'm a reporter and I'm supposed to remain objective, but I'm just going to come out and say it. Pencil is great. I've been around for a very long time and it's rare to see something as smart, as good, or as productive as this. Did you know that 93% of principals said that their pencil partnership helped to improve their school? 93%. I don't know anything that 93% of people agree on. And I can tell you that I've seen exactly what those principals are talking about, because in the past, I've been principal for a day, but I've also reported on stories about them, and I've seen how pencil partnerships are leading students through the college application process, how they're opening students' eyes to new career opportunities, and how they're giving our students the inspiration they need to succeed. I've seen this firsthand, how business and educators can come together through Prenzel to change students' lives. Now, no one embodies this impact more than tonight's three honorees, JetBlue Airways, Christopher Hayward, and Howard Chatsonoff. You are going to learn a lot more about their efforts on behalf of our schools in just a bit. But before we move on, as a born and bred New Yorker, let me just say thank you to everyone who's here tonight. Your support makes Pencil life-changing for so many kids. To those of you who are already involved in Pencil's programs, an extra thank you for your time, commitment, and passion. And to those of you who are not involved yet, 
I'm going to say thank you in advance because I know by the end of this evening, you are going to be inspired to sign up to work with Pencil. Now, before we continue the festivities, I just have one quick note. You'll see some flameless candles in the center of your tables. Don't touch them just yet, but remember where they are. Trust me, you'll find out what they're there for by the end of the night. But right now, I want to uh, share with you a special, a special video from U.S. Secretary of Education, Arnie Duncan. <laughs> 